Quote the Hold Steady, everyone's a critic and most people are DJs. I'm not a music expert. Hell, I can't even play an instrument or carry a tune. My name's Craig. I'm just a middle-aged guy in the burbs that likes to listen to good music and talk about it. That's what I try to do here. I hope you enjoy. This week, I'm going to talk about Laura Stevenson, who I saw play live on Friday night down in Socrates, as well as two new artists who have very limited amount of music out in the world but are worth checking out. That's Wet Leg and Geese. Laura Stevenson. So the first time I saw her play was opening for Craig Finn at the Rock and Roll Hotel in Washington, D.C., the now defunct venue, um, in mid-June of 2019. Here's a sample of that. She was great. Great voice. Really enjoyed her. Um, got a chance to chat with both her and her husband, Mike, who, just as a side note, is the uh, booker for Colony, a venue down in Woodstock. And I thought it was odd. I'm like, how have I never seen you in Albany? Um, and you're less than an hour away. So, but anyway, that's the first time I saw her. Enjoyed it. Um, fast forward three weeks later, I'm in Dublin. I'd gone over there to see the Yankees and Red Sox play in London and then spent some time in Ireland. And I was tooling around. I went and saw a venue or saw a show and, uh, and I check on my phone. I'm like, holy shit, Laura Stevenson is here. So I walk into Wayland's, which is a venue in Dublin. And I, I see Mike look up from the merch table and just gives this look like, like this doesn't compute. Isn't this a guy I just saw in Washington? What the hell is he doing in Dublin? So uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, I got a chance to catch up with them there as well. I had some pints after the show. Heard that they were doing a, a free show down in Socrates here an hour away on Friday night. So I went down to check it out. Um, now, it was just a beautiful, beautiful venue. It was in a 17th century Dutch farmhouse that is part of a museum down there. Before I show you her performance, there was actually a guy named Niall Connolly, an Irishman from Cork, who opened up for him. He was really a good sound. He was fun. Had this beautiful little two and a half year old daughter, Sersha, who was there uh, cheering him on along with some family, uh, but really enjoyed his performance. So, so check out some of his, uh, his performance now before I go on. Everything's all right. Everything's just fine. Everything's all right. Everything's just fine. Everything's all right. I was thinking about my mother and my father and their fathers and their mothers too as I stood above your crate and looking down at you into your eyes so new and blue so new and blue for a moment I swear I saw them lighting up looking back at me through you Now it's got a bunch of stuff out there. Check them out on Spotify, or if you're in the Hudson Valley, look for them to play live. Then Laura came up, and it turns out, I mean, I guess she lives right down in the area, and this was her 
first performance since the uh, since coming back from the, the the pandemic, and she was great. Really enjoyed it. She's got such a great personality, and she's just kind of very chill and engaging as far as uh, you know how she talks to the audience and stuff. And she still sounds amazing. Um, I'm actually going to see her soon because she's opening up for Lucy Dacus, uh, and I'm going to see her. I got to see what it is. I think it's in a few weeks, um, so I'll see her again soon. But check out her her sound from uh, from that performance on Friday night. And I'll not be far, you'll not be in harm's way Next up is a band that I is on pretty heavy rotation with WEQX, the radio station that I listen to up here. Um, it's a duo from the Isle of Wight called Wet Leg. And they've got a song out there called Chase Long. And it's just really, really catchy. It's got this kind of spoken word, uh, a la dry cleaning uh, type vocals, um, some really cheeky lyrics, and just a great sound. Um, it's the only song they've got out there. Um, so we'll see where they end up going, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with them. Uh, I know that they're going to be going on tour and opening for Declan McKenna, but uh, keep an eye out for Wet Leg. Next up is a band, a five-piece out of Brooklyn called Geese. Um, they're getting a lot of hype from NME, Consequence of Sounds, etc. Uh, they're right out of freaking high school. I guess they've been around since 2016, but literally that was like when they were freshmen in high school. So um, they've also been getting some play on WEQX, but on the Going Underground. Uh, they've got one single out there called Disco. Uh, and I can understand why they're not getting a lot of rotations because it's an almost seven minute song. Great guitar sound. I'm not normally one for that kind of jam bandy songs that go on and on. It's like I like I like Manchester Orchestra, but I think their their damn songs are too long. Typically, I'm like, all right, keep it at like three three and a half minutes long, please. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens with these guys as well. Like I said, a lot of hype. They've actually got a show next weekend at Berlin down in New York City. I want to go down, but it's sold out like that. So we'll see what happens. They're also signed to Partizan, uh, who's who's got a lot of great uh, great acts out there, including Idols and um, and Fontaine's DC. Um, so uh, check out Geese.
that's it. Sampling of the live music I saw on Friday night from Laura Stevenson and then a couple of new acts that we'll see what happens with them. Um, Wet Leg and Geese. You can listen to this music on Spotify by clicking the link in the description.